Hello, friend. Welcome to iOS Chess. This is UI Kit based. It means it's not. We are not using Swift UI for this app. Okay. So in this video, um, let's try to add a reset button, right? So if we make a move, right, um, we can click the button reset to go back to move to put the game state to its original um, state. Um, before that, let's fix uh, an issue quickly, like this one, right? When we rotate um, the device, uh, it doesn't work. Okay, so we'll simply limit this guy to the portrait mode only. Um, we don't want to be distracted by the the auto layout issue for the rotation. Yeah, because uh, it's not so obvious to make it correct if we add the button um, under it. So we'll go this way here. Uh, portrait only, so we can uncheck this one. Now let's double check iPad. Yeah, you see, be careful. Try to uncheck iPhone and make sure this one uh, is gone. Those three are, are gone. Okay, now, now let's try it again. Rotate. Okay, so now it's safe, right? Let's go to our main storyboard to add some button there. We can select a device, this one. Um, make it bigger. Is it good? Um, I think we can make it a little bit bigger. Too big. Smaller. Yeah. And we can hide it here. Now, add a button. Um, wait a minute. What is the constraint here? Okay, we have a constraint there. Now, add a button. Put it under here and let's increase its font size. It's too small. Okay, it's big enough. 30, let's make it 36. So the title will be re Reset. Okay. And we we'll use simple layout, constraint all the way up. Just put it under here, a very long. Uh, I think we can make it even bigger. What about, yeah, 48, yeah. So reset. Now let's run it. Oh. Oh, we haven't added the auto layout constraint. Sorry about that. Let's use the guide. Okay. Auto layout. Top. Standard. Left. And the right. That's it. We don't need to, s to click the bottom one because the bottom will be automatically uh, determined by the font size. Yeah, so you see, there's no no complaint here, right? Now run it. Yeah, it's good enough. Click. Okay. So now we can try to control drag this guy into our controller view controller. Okay. Hold on. Option key. Click. Okay. Oh, 
now go back yes hold on control key and drag it to view digital let's put it here okay now control drag connection is action right here make sure it's action not out of it and uh, reset this is optional because we don't use the parameter here now connect yeah and uh, what can we do here that to the print here reset clicked okay now let's close this one and this one and try to test it run it click yeah we said click right the button works and uh, let's clean up these things okay now the logic for reset um we will dedicate this to our model the chessboard but we don't have the the logic there chessboard here let's add one in need oh in need board okay that's good we can just add a logic here before we deploy all the 32 initial pieces right we have to clean up this one remove everything there dot remove all remove all okay that's it and now we can just use this one in need board for the logic of reset core and let's go back so instead of that one we just need to call chessboard dot init init board okay don't forget to repaint redraw our uh our view so it's this line right board view dot set needs display board view dot set need display this guy now let's give it a try make a move can we make a move again yeah we don't have who's turn who's turn control but do we have a capture <coughs> yes sorry do we have a capture yes we do we do now reset oh reset set needs this ray oh i know we haven't updated the shadow piece box yeah that's the missing puzzle here okay now let's try it again and reset yep yeah. right it works reset cool um that's it for this video thank you for watching see you next